Can you trust an extension cord that costs under $20? Are they even safe? Or should you spend more than four times as much for the most expensive brand that we'll be testing? Well, let's get the testing underway and let's find out. We'll see which extension cord takes the most force to separate the cord from the plug. Then we'll see which cord has the most abrasion resistant jacket. We'll see which extension cord has the strongest blades. Finally, we'll test the extension cords for voltage drop. When it comes to extension cords, the larger the number, the smaller the wire. So a 10 gauge wire can handle a lot more current compared to a 16 gauge. At a price of only $17, the least expensive brand we'll be testing is made by Project Source. Most of the extension cords we'll be testing are 14 gauge, but the Project Source is 16. All the cords we'll be testing are 50 feet in length, 13 amps up to 1,625 watts. Instead of using a solid piece of metal, the blades on the Project Source appear to be made of a thin piece of metal folded over. The Project Source brand is made in Thailand. The Project Source weighs 1,490 grams. I've had several extension cord blades fail from getting bent, and the Project Source folded over with only 9.5 pounds of pressure. The folded blade design just doesn't offer very much strength. At a price of $20, the second least expensive brand we'll be testing is made by Vanguard and sold at Harbor Freight. Like most of the other brands, the Vanguard is a 14 gauge wire and 50 feet in length. It's designed for 15 amps or 1,875 watts at 50 feet. It claims their cord is rated for hard service. Unlike the Project Source, the blades in the Vanguard are made of a solid piece of metal. The Vanguard is made in China. The 14 gauge Vanguard weighs 1,962 grams. And the Harbor Freight Vanguard performed very well at just over 14 kilograms or 30 pounds. At a price of $26 is this Woods brand. The Woods is an outdoor heavy duty extension cord. Features reinforced extension cord blades to prevent accidental bending or breaking. We're going to test that. Remains flexible in all temperatures. We're going to test that. It claims to be oil and chemical resistant. The Woods brand is made in Vietnam. And the Woods cord is the heaviest yet at 2,076 grams. And the Woods just couldn't keep up with the Vanguard folding at 9.4 kilograms or almost 21 pounds. At a price of $34 is this Yellow Jacket brand. Powerlite plug is designed for 15 years of daily use. Polymer filling for added tensile strength. We're going to test that. Heavy duty strain relief keeps plug on cord. They claim their cord has three times greater resistance to abrasion. Won't crack in cold weather down to minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit. The Yellow Jacket cord is made in Taiwan. The Yellow Jacket weighs 1,996 grams. And the Yellow Jacket performed well at 12 kilograms, which is good enough to move into second place behind the Vanguard. We'll be testing two extension cords made by Southwire. The first one is a 14 gauge wire and costs $34. Reinforced blades add durability and protects prongs from bending. Temperature range is minus 40 to 75 degrees Celsius. Highly visible insulation resists oil, grease, moisture, abrasion, and prolonged exposure to sunlight. The Southwire is made in Indonesia. The 14 gauge Southwire weighs 1,880 grams. And the Southwire is almost a full kilogram stronger than the Yellow Jacket and moves into second place. At a price of $35, it's just $1 more than the 14 gauge wire is this South Wire 12 gauge wire. Rated for 15 amps or 1,875 watts. Lighted in shows power is on. Weather resistant jacket. The temperature range is minus 40 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. The South Wire is made in USA. The 12 gauge South Wire weighs 2,920 grams. And the 12 gauge South Wire uses a folded blade design just like the Project Source. And the South Wire gave up at just under 6 kilograms or around 13 pounds. At a price of $35 is this Husky brand. Medium duty kink free extension cord. The cord is made with a vinyl jacket and a molding plug. Durable strain relief to make sure the plug stays securely connected with the cable. The Husky is made in the Philippines. The Husky weighs 2,118 grams. And the Husky performed just about as good as the Harbor Freight Vanguard at 13.3 kilograms or 29.3 pounds. Also the price of $35 is this Utilitech brand. It's a 14 gauge medium duty general extension cord. Certified for use in the US and Canada. It's rated for 18 1,875 watts. The Utilitech is made in China. The Utilitech weighs 2,148 grams. And the Utilitech moves into the lead with almost 18 kilograms or around 39.5 pounds. At a price of $36 is this Snow Joe brand. Tough outer jacket is resistant to oil, grease, and moisture. The extension cord end on the Snow Joe glows when the cord has power. Designed for temperatures down to minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Designed to withstand the toughest of elements. The Snow Joe is made in China. 1,966 grams for the Sun Joe. And the Snow Joe performed very well at 14.5 kilograms or about 32 pounds to move into second place. At a price of $40 is this Flexilla brand. Extreme all weather flexibility. It's rated for minus 58 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Abrasion and corrosion resistant. Glow in the dark stripe and power indicator light. The Flexilla is made in Taiwan. 2,046 grams for the Flexilla. And there's no flexing with the Flexilla at 12.5 kilograms or around 27.5 pounds. 
Also the price of $40 is this Bergen Industries brand. It claims to be super flexible, designed to withstand everyday use in agricultural applications. Molded plug-in connector ends with a chemical-resistant vinyl jacket. The Bergen Industries is made in China. 2,010 grams for the Bergen. And the Bergen Industries moves into the lead with a very impressive 18.7 kilograms or just over 41 pounds. At a price of $45 is this Go Green brand. Indicator plug glows when the cord has power. It stays flexible down to minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit. It claims to be abrasion and UV resistant. The Go Green brand is made in China. 1,934 grams for the Go Green. And the Go Green performed very well and moves into third place at 17.1 kilograms. At a price of $53 is this US Wire brand. Each individually insulated conductor is surrounded by a specially formulated SJTW vinyl outer jacket, resistant to abrasion and deterioration from moisture and sunlight, medium duty with medium flexibility. The US Wire brand is made in USA. 2,174 grams for the US Wire. The US Wire uses the same folded blade design as the 12 gauge South Wire and a 16 gauge project source. And the US Wire threw in the towel at 4.7 kilograms or just over 10 pounds. We'll also be testing a second extension cord made by US Wire, which costs $74. Extreme all-weather extension cord. Minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit, all the way up to 221 degrees. When a cord has power, the end has a red glow that's easily seen in day or night. Constructed of 100% thermoplastic elastomer. The US Wire is made in USA. 1,842 grams for the US Wire. And the US Wire Extreme did extremely well at 21 kilograms to take the lead from the Bergen Industries. Very impressive. And the most expensive brand we'll be testing at $88 is made by Yellow Jacket. Definitely not an apples to apples comparison as this is a 10 gauge wire designed for up to 20 amps. Heavy duty strain relief keeps plug on cord. Three times greater resistance to abrasion. It claims to be 30 to 50% more flexible than orange cords. Polymer filling for added tensile strength. The Yellow Jacket is made in Taiwan. And the 10 gauge yellow jacket performed well at 14.5 kilograms. There's a huge difference in extension cord blade strength and the US Wire Extreme came out on top at 46.4 pounds. Bergen Industries performed well at 41.3, Utilitech 39.5, and Go Green 37.8 pounds. Let's see which extension cord socket is designed to offer the best grip on extension cord blades. And a project source lost grip on the blades at 7,414 grams, which is very close to 16 pounds. And the Vanguard couldn't hang on quite as well as the project source at 6,300 118 grams. Unfortunately, the Woods Cord just couldn't get a good grip on the blades at only 4,620 grams. And the Yellow Jacket performed about the same as the Woods at 4,454 grams. And the South Wire is a bit of a show off at 8,818 grams and moves into the first position. And the 12 gauge South Wire threw in the towel early at only 2,958 grams. And the Husky performed a little bit below average at 3,682 grams. The Utilitech performed better than the Husky at 4,418 grams before losing grip. And the Snow Joe made the South Wire a little bit nervous at 8,026 grams, which is good enough to move into second place. A pretty humble flex from the Flexzilla at 5,668 grams, which is just a little bit above average. And the Bergen Industries is 400 grams below the Flexzilla at 5,202 grams. And the Go Green got going just a little too soon at 2,968 grams. And the US Wire performed about average at 4,502 grams. And the US Wire Extreme lost grip at about 1,000 grams below average at 3,454 grams. And the 10 gauge Yellow Jacket performed well at 5,186 grams. So the 14 gauge South Wire came out on top at 19.4 pounds. The Snow Joe finished in second at 17.7 pounds. Project 16.3, Vanguard 13.9, and Flexilla Pro 12.5 pounds. Let's see how much voltage drop takes place with four halogen lights connected to the cord. I'll attach a temperature probe to the black wire. The test will last right at five minutes. The power meter on the right is plugged into the wall, and I'll attach the other end of the extension cord and the lights to the power meter on the left. If an extension cord is undersized for the application, it can cause damage to the appliance or tool, and the extension cord can overheat. And a project source is starting out at 69.8 degrees Fahrenheit. The energy meter at the front of the extension cord is showing 1,859.5 watts, and the meter closest to the lights is showing 1,756.4. So over 100 watts of energy is converting to heat in the extension cord instead of making it to the lights. After about five minutes, voltage at the front of the extension cord is showing 124.2 volts and 117.2 closest to the lights. So that's a 7 volt drop. And the temperature of the cord is 102.8 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about a 33 degree increase. Let's compare the 14 gauge Vanguard to the 12 gauge Southwire. After 5 minutes, the 14 gauge Vanguard only experienced a 4.47 volt drop compared to almost 7 volts for the project source. The wire temperature experienced an 11.7 degree increase compared to 33 degrees for the project source, which is a 16 gauge wire. 
So the size of the larger wire makes a huge difference. And the 12 gauge south wire only has a voltage drop of 2.85 volts, which is around two volts better than the 14 gauge wires. And the south wire's temperature only increased by 1.9 degrees. And the 10 gauge yellow jacket only experienced a voltage drop of 1.94 volts. And the wire temperature remained very cool. Wire size makes a huge difference as the 10 gauge yellow jacket experienced a 1.91 volt drop. The 12 gauge south wire's voltage dropped by 2.85 volts. This is a 14 gauge wire showdown and the US wire came out on top with a voltage drop of 4.36. Utilitech performed well at 4.4, Snow Joe 4.44, and Yellow Jacket 4.45. Project Source is a 16 gauge wire and definitely in a different class compared to the 14 gauge wires. Let's see how much force it takes to separate the plug from the cord. And the 16 gauge Project Source cord broke before the plug in separated at 190 pounds. So that's a very well attached cord end. And the Harbor Freight's Vanguard tore loose at 192 pounds. Let's go ahead and test the tensile strength of the extension cord. And the 14 gauge Vanguard cord made it to 321 pounds before the wires began breaking. And the Woods moves in the first place over the Vanguard at 236 pounds before the extension cord end came loose. And the Woods has a little bit better tensile strength than the Harbor Freight Vanguard at 334 pounds. The Yellow Jacket claims to have a polymer filling for added tensile strength. And the Yellow Jacket moves into the lead over the woods with a very impressive 319 pounds before the extension cord end came loose. And the Yellow Jacket's tensile strength is very impressive at 423 pounds and moves into first place. And the South Wire finished 10 pounds better than the Harbor Freight Vanguard at 202 pounds before the cord separated from the plug. And the South Wire gave up pretty early on the tensile strength test at 241 pounds to move in the last place in the 14 gauge wire category. And the 12 gauge south wire extension cord end held on longer than the 14 gauge south wire at 288 pounds. The 12 gauge south wire has a pretty impressive tensile strength of 393 pounds. And the Husky moves into the lead with a very impressive 346 pounds before the cord tore away from the plug. And the Husky cord broke at 339 pounds, which is about the same as the last test. The Utilitech cord end outlasted the cord at 311 pounds. So the Husky holds on to the lead. Just like the Utilitech cord, the Snow Joe end outlasted the cord. 278 pounds of tensile strength for the Snow Joe. And the Flexilla made it to 257 pounds before the cord broke away from the cord end. And the Flexilla couldn't quite make it to 300 pounds of tensile strength. 291 pounds. And the Bergen Industries gave up a little bit sooner than the other brands at 201 pounds before the plug broke loose. And Bergen Industries has a pretty good tensile strength at 319 pounds. And the Go Green seems to be made of a softer plastic than most of the other brands. And the Go Green gave up at 169 pounds. The Go Green just doesn't have as much tensile strength as most of the other brands at 260 pounds. And the US Wire moves into a commanding lead at 367 pounds. The cord broke before the cord end separated from the cord end. Very impressive. And the US Wire Extreme is made of a highly flexible thermal plastic elastomer. And the US Wire Extreme cord end separated from the cord at 165 four pounds. And the thermoplastic elastomer cord just doesn't offer very much tensile strength at 258 pounds. And the 10 gauge yellow jacket cord is very heavy duty. And the cord finally broke at 968 pounds. Very impressive. If you're looking for a cord with a strongly fastened cord end, the 10 gauge south wire outlasted the cord at 968 pounds. However, just looking at the 14 gauge cords, the US wire did the best at 367 pounds, Husky 346, Yellow Jacket 319, and Utilitech 311 pounds. Let's test the abrasion resistance of the extension cords next, and we'll see how long it takes for the belt sander to cut through the extension cord jacket. I'll attach five pounds of weight to each of the test pieces. And the project source lasted 5.6 seconds before the sandpaper completely wore through the jacket. And the Vanguard extension cord claims it's ready for hard service. And the Vanguard lasted 12.3 seconds. And the Woods has a hard rubber jacket. And the Woods moves into the lead over the Vanguard at 14 seconds. And the Yellow Jacket performed even better than the Woods at 15 seconds. The South Wire seems pretty soft and thin compared to the Woods and the Yellow Jacket. Eight seconds for the South Wire. And the jacket for the 12 gauge south wire lasted 15.3 seconds. And the Husky lasted twice as long as the competition at 28.7 seconds. Very impressive. The Utilitech's jacket isn't quite as thick as the Husky's. 17 seconds for the Utilitech. The Snow Joe's jacket seems soft and thin. 10 seconds for the Snow Joe. The Flexilla is very soft and flexible, but it still held up well at 14.3 seconds. The Bergen Industries jacket is very thick and hard. 22.7 seconds, which is quite a bit better than average. Go Green is pretty soft and flexible like the Flexilla. And the Go Green lasted 12.3 seconds. And the US wire is very thick and hard. And the US wire performed better than average at 17.6 seconds. And the US wire extreme is soft and flexible, but it didn't seem to matter. 20.2 seconds. 
Definitely not a fair comparison, but let's do it anyway. And a 10 gauge yellow jacket lasted a minute and 11 seconds. And a 14 gauge extension cord that has the most abrasive resistant jacket is the Husky, which lasted 28.7 seconds. Bergen finished in second at 22.7 seconds, US Wire Extreme 20.2, and US Wire 17.6 seconds. Some of the extension cords are very stiff and difficult to work with. I compared reeling the extension cords at 70 degrees Fahrenheit as well as negative 40 degrees. At 70 degrees Fahrenheit, the US Wire Extreme, Flexzilla, Go Green, 14 gauge South Wire, and a 16 gauge Project Source finished with the best possible rating of 1. Cold temperature has a huge impact on some of the extension cords and they can be difficult to work with. Another problem is that they don't lay flat, creating a tripping hazard. At minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit, the US Wire Extreme did by far the best and was very easy to work with. The other brands were considerably stiffer and more difficult to work with. All the extension cord jackets held up to the extreme cold except for the yellow jacket which experienced a crack. Providing a rating is subjective, but at minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit, the US Wire Extreme did by far the best with the rating of 1. South Wire, Flexzilla, and Go Green all finished in a distant second with the rating of 3. I tested the extension cords for puncture resistance, and the US Wire performed extremely well at 3,268 grams to puncture the jacket. Husky finished in second at 1,989 grams, Flexzilla 1,788, and Yellow Jacket 1,599 grams. Just looking at average finish ranking, US Wire came out on top with an average finish ranking ranking of 4. Bergen Industries averaged 4.4, Utilitech 4.7, Husky 4.8, and Flexilla Pro 5.1. Since none of the extension cords performed perfectly in all categories, just looking at how extension cords ranked in performance only probably isn't the best way to look at things. Converting performance values into an A through F grade is very subjective. However, an A through F grade makes figuring out which extension cords have all the necessary qualities a lot easier. If you're looking for an extension cord that's easy to manage in cold weather, the US Wire Extreme seems to be the best choice. If you're looking for a rugged extension cord that can handle tough daily use, the Bergen Industries performed extremely well. Finally, if it's all about value, the Harbor Freight Vanguard, which is priced at around $20, works very well for light duty use. I don't say it enough, so I just want to say thank you very much for all the support you offer the channel. I don't accept free products or sponsorships, so the support makes a huge difference. All the videos on this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and look forward to next time.